How is it that you're going to reach okay. out to these union members so they understand that you're the right person, not Gillibrand, who supported right. ACORN, which actually supports the unions that kills jobs? Okay. Well, you know, you can't legislate everything, and you can't mandate everything. Just like I would like to see Walmart, for instance, buy American. You would think that Walmart, the government should say to them, you know, you got all this business, you got American consumers, but why don't you buy American? Well, you can't legislate that. Then we're no longer a democracy. But what you can do is you can make people aware of the issue. The reason why, and I'm going to bring it back to your question, the reason why those it's cheap to buy in China is they don't have the quality control we have. You buy from an American company, they have to add people to do that. So we have to educate America. Now, how do you educate the union people? Just like the Tea Party is educating Congress by unelecting Mr. Specter and by getting a Rand Paul in Kentucky, don't you think those few bosses in Washington are getting the message? You need a Tea Party movement now and the union movement. You've got to get the people who are being affected, educated, that they may be abused by those leaders, like you just described. You can't get a senator to go in there and, and change the union overnight. But what a senator can do, like me, is I can educate some of those people that they need to do a better job in electing their union leaders, and they need to do a better job in evaluating them and using the right standards the way we're doing right now in Congress, tossing congressmen out, left and right, Republican or Democrat. So things have to come from the bottom, not just from the top. But I'll be that catalyst to educate those people, and I'll inspire them, okay? you got to inspire as well as educate.